Did you know that osteoporosis is often called the silent disease? This is because most people don't know that they have it until they break a bone or if they're lucky when they have a DEXA. If you have bones, and I'm pretty sure you do, this video is for you. Hello, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific for osteoporosis in yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen every year. And I am so pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. Each day this month, I'll be sharing a bite-sized video to help you understand osteoporosis and what you can really do about it. This is real bone talk with doable steps. So today with our first day, let's talk about what exactly osteoporosis is. Osteoporosis literally means porous bones. It's a condition where your bones become weak and brittle, so brittle in fact, that a small fall or even a strong cough or sneeze could potentially cause a fracture. Here's what's happening inside your body. Your bones are constantly being broken down and rebuilt. That's normal, that's part of the process. With osteoporosis, the breakdown tends to happen faster than the rebuilding does. Over time, this leads to having decreased bone density and the structure of our bones starts to look more like a sponge full of bigger and bigger holes. You can't feel your bones getting weaker, and that's part of the problem. People often don't realize that there's an issue until they've had a fracture. So what are the most common osteoporotic fractures? The first, the most common osteoporotic fracture happens in the spine. These are what's known as compression or wedge fractures. The number two osteoporotic fracture are fractures that happen at either the femur, that's the big bone in your thighs, or at the hip, or the femoral neck, which is where your thigh bone connects to your hip bone. The third most common osteoporotic fracture are wrists and our ribs. So we tend to think of osteoporosis as being a disease that affects elderly women, but that's not the whole picture by a long shot. Yes, women over 50 are at the highest risk, especially after menopause due to the drop off in estrogen, but men get osteoporosis too. In fact, one in five men over 50 will break a bone because of it. Osteoporosis can happen to people that are younger than age 50 though. Osteoporosis can develop in younger people as the result of having certain medical conditions with celiac disease being one example of such a medical condition that could potentially cause osteoporosis. Anything that has the potential to cause a nutritional deficiency really has the potential to cause bone loss. And this means that there are many people who aren't older women who also develop osteoporosis. Another reason for even younger adults and teens to care about their bone health is that peak bone mass develops before the age of 30. So this isn't just a later in life issue, it's a lifespan issue. Here's why this matters so much. A broken bone isn't just an inconvenience. It can lead to having chronic pain, loss of independence, long recovery times, and in the case of hip fractures, it can even shorten lifespan. But here's the good news. Osteoporosis is not inevitable. And even if you've already been diagnosed with osteoporosis, there's so much that you can do to support your bones and to strengthen your body. Throughout this month, I'll be sharing practical tips on nutrition, supplements, safe movement, and mindset shifts that will help to empower you to take control of your bone health without feeling overwhelmed. We'll also have a handful of interviews with experts thrown in we'll talk about some personal stories and some myth busting along the way. So if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you won't miss a single day of this series focused on osteoporosis awareness. And I would love to hear from you. Have you or someone that you love been diagnosed with osteoporosis or osteopenia? Please share your experience in the comments and let me know where you're tuning in from. Let's create a strong and supportive bone building community this month. 
Also, if you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love who could benefit from it. We are all in this together and knowledge is power. So on that note, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two, where we'll talk about why May is Osteoporosis Awareness Month and why this conversation matters more than ever.